Hi there and welcome to your English lecture once again. Uh, before we start the lecture, I appreciate all the students who have sent their copies yesterday for correction. It was sad to notice that students of class uh, 12th commerce are not at all serious with their studies. That's what we could observe by the number of copies we got. Uh, it is for your benefit. This opportunity has been given to you. Uh, make use of it. Uh, we are not going to favor it. You are going to favor from this whole thing. So it is, I can just request you once again, please finish your work and send your copies for correction. Rest is up to you. Coming back to the chapter, I started a new chapter, Women's Education, written by Dr. S. Radhakrishnan on Saturday. Uh, we'll continue the chapter today. In that chapter, I told you how the writer appreciates the institutions and the organizations who uh, favor women's education or who, uh, who are putting, an, putting in an effort to educate women because according to the writer who has written this chapter many many years ago uh, educating women is a matter of pride it's a matter of encouragement it's a matter of praise and it is very very important to be educated because once you are educated that is when you can find out the difference between what is right and what is wrong ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि सेंचुरीज अगो कुछ चीज़ उस ज़माने के लिए अच्छी रही हो लेकिन अगर उसको आज की तारीख से कंपेयर करें तो दैट इज दैट वोंट बी रेलिवेंट सो वंस यू आर एजुकेटेड देन यू रियलाइज एंड विद एजुकेशन इट इज आल्सो नेसेसरी दैट यू चेंज योर व्यू पॉइंट विथ द टाइम बिकॉज वॉट uh who held good centuries of years ago need a necessary that is good now also so one should one who is educated who is wise who has some knowledge uh, will have an aim in life will know what is right and what is wrong will know what is the difference between a cultured mind and an uncultured mind i also told you that uh, uh, something about the relationship between a teacher and the taught yani ki guru aur shishya ke rishte ke bare mein bhi maine aapse baat ki thi it's the most beautiful relation in a world because uh, you are gaining something from that relationship you are receiving wisdom you are receiving knowledge and it's a vice versa pro process because of you the teachers also gain knowledge they also get uh, to learn something every day and at the same time they are also giving their knowledge to you so coming back to the chapter we'll continue it today and learn something more about it compassion daya is the quality which is more characteristic of women than of men i read recently a book which speaks about the decline of womanhood and says that this is so because there is decline in compassion in other words the natural quality of women is compassion if you do not have compassion you are not human it is therefore essential for every human being to develop the quality of concentratedness kindness and compassion without these qualities we are only humans narupa narpasu not more than that and it's a beautiful way he is telling us that the quality of compassion that is daya is the identity of a woman okay so he is saying it it comes naturally in a woman um, not that men don't like us or don't like anybody or they uh, they do not uh, have mercy in their hearts it's not like that it's just that 
uh, women are made like that by nature by birth the quality of compassion jo ye daya ki jo quality hoti hai ye uh, women section mein ya females mein ya uh, ladkiyon mein auraton mein ye by birth hoti hai it is a default quality right uh, iska matlab ye nahi hai ki aadmiyon mein ye quality nahi hoti hai aadmiyon mein hoti hai par wo express nahi kar pate hain right that is the reason why the why families exist actually because of this quality of compassion that a woman has because it is through this quality she connects everybody she joins everybody she keeps everybody united in one unit okay but sadly the writer also says that this this uh, quality of compassion is decreasing in women okay so there is a decline in womanhood right kyunki ye jo daya ki bhavna hai ab kam hoti ja rahi hai there are thousands of reasons for it we will not go much deeper inside uh, there are times when women feel cheated they feel used they feel um, insecure uh, they have there are thousands of reasons why this uh, quality is declining quality decline ho rahi hai iska matlab again ye nahi hai ki wo uh, ab aurte compassionate nahi hoti hain wo kind nahi hoti hain wo considerate nahi hoti hain ye matlab nahi hai wo qualities usme hai पर सर्कमस्टांसिस कंडीशन सिचुएशंस के हिसाब से वो ये क्वालिटी शायद कहीं दबा देती है वो नहीं दिखाती है वो शायद शी इज़ ट्राइंग टू बिकम मोर प्रैक्टिकल दैन बीइंग मोर इमोशनल बिकॉज हर इमोशंस आर बीइंग मिसयूज्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम सो एट द सेम टाइम बट एट द सेम टाइम विदाउट दीज क्वालिटीज You are like an animal, like a nar pasu. Nar matlab admi, pasu matlab janwar. तो writer का ये कहना है कि अगर आपके में compassion नहीं है अगर आपके में kindness नहीं है अगर आपके में considerateness नहीं है तो आप एक animal के समान हैं right? There is a famous verse which tells us. संसार विश्व वृक्ष इन दिस इम परफेक्ट वर्ल्ड संसार देर आर टू फ्रूट्स ऑफ इनपिटेबल क्वालिटी दे आर द स्टडी ऑफ आर ग्रेट क्लासिक्स एंड द कम्यूनियन विद ग्रेट माइंड्स दीज टू आर द थिंग्स विच मोल्ड मैंस माइंड्स एंड हार्ट्स आई एम एंक्शस दैट आर ग्रेट क्लासिक्स शुड बी स्टडीड the classics of all countries of which we are the inheritors it is in a small dialogue in an upanishad that a question is put what constitutes the essence of good life the teacher replies didn't you hear the answer there was a thunderclap immediately the teacher explained that these were the essence of a good life dham daan and daya they constitute the essentials of a good life you must have dham or self control restraint which is the mark of a human being in the ramayana when lakshman sets out for the forest his mother tells him Look upon Ram as your father Dashrath look upon Sita as myself as your mother look upon the forest as Ayodhya go my dear there are ever so many thrilling stories in our classics which will instill into us great moral strength which will lay down for us the lines in our classics on which we have to conduct ourselves give us good women we will give a great civilization give us good mothers and we will have a great nation right 
a beautiful thought once again and uh, beautifully described at the same time he says that this world is like a a big tree okay a big tree of knowledge right aur ye duniya jo hai ye bahut imperfect hai perfect nahi hai it is an imperfect world but this huge tree of wisdom has two fruits to give you pehla the study of great classics dusra is a communion of great minds ya jab sare intellectuals gyani vigyani aadmi ka dimag ka jo milan hota hai aur usse jo knowledge milti hai we people are of that generation we should consider ourselves as very very lucky to study these authors these scholars these philosophers and what they have written and what they are trying to tell us okay and at the same time he says that these two things you know if you study the classics jaise mahabharat hai geeta hai bible hai quran hai or other story books panchatantra ki kahaniyan hai upanishads hai quran hai kitna kuch literature hamare country mein hai and there are so many religions that exist in our country we are the fortunate lot we are the lucky people who uh, have this amalgamation of knowledge with us it is for us to uh, reach out to that knowledge it is for us to understand that knowledge it is for us to take use of that opportunity that is given to us and once because we are he says that we are the inheritors of this knowledge हम लोगों ने अपने पूर्वजों से ये नॉलेज इनहेरिट की है राइट right? तो हमारा फर्ज बनता है कि जब हमने ये नॉलेज इनहेरिट करी है तो हम इस नॉलेज को आगे बढ़ाएं दूसरे लोगों में फैलाएं राइट अगेन ही सेज दैट टू लीड अ गुड लाइफ देर आर थ्री इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स दैट इज दम दान एंड दया दम यानी कि सेल्फ कंट्रोल अपने इमोशंस पर आपको स्ट्रॉन्ग होना पड़ेगा लाइफ में हर को लाइक टू हैप्पी टू सैड टू फ्रजाइल टू इमोशनल टू सेंटिमेंटल इट्स नॉट गुड यू हैव टू बी इन बैलेंस समवेयर इन बिटवीन ताकि आप मुश्किल से मुश्किल समय को भी आसानी से झेल सको और अच्छे से अच्छे समय को भी खुशी से झेल सको राइट देन यू हैव दान चैरिटी नॉट नेसेसरी कि आज मैं करोड़पति हूँ या मेरे पास बहुत पैसा है तभी मैं चैरिटी कर सकती हूँ चैरिटी कैन बी डन इन डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स नॉट ओनली विथ मनी यू कैन बी इन इन वेज दैट यू शो योर काइंडनेस टू अदर्स किसी से सिर्फ अच्छी तरीके से तरीके से बात करना ही एक एक्ट ऑफ काइंडनेस होता है किसी की दुख की बातें सुनना ही एक एक्ट ऑफ काइंडनेस है जस्ट बी देयर टू लिसन टू अदर पीपल्स प्रॉब्लम्स बी देयर नॉट नेसेसरी दैट यू हैव सोल्यूशंस टू देयर प्रॉब्लम्स बी देयर टू हियर बी देयर टू लिसन बी देयर टू गिव वॉट एवर यू हैव क्योंकि हर एक रिलीजन जहाँ तक मैं समझती हूँ जहाँ तक मेरी नॉलेज जाती है हर एक रिलीजन बोलता है कि अगर आपके पास दो चीज़ हैं तो एक दे दो और खुदा तुमको और देगा गॉड डजेंट वॉन्ट यू टू गिव ओनली मनी और ओनली कैश गॉड हैज़ गिवन यू लॉट्स ऑफ अदर थिंग्स एंड लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस पीरियड ऑफ लॉकडाउन यू शुड बी थैंकफुल that you were lucky enough to have food on your table you were lucky enough to get these online lectures whereas there were many others who were suffering you are lucky enough to stay at home under the fan under a roof whereas many were just dying on the roads right so you have to count your blessings 
you have to count your blessings not what you did not get from god and once you start counting your blessings you will realize you are much more luckier than the other people kyunki jo aapke paas hai wo kisi aur ke paas nahi hai to kosna mangna dukhi hona ye sab band kariye isse khuda ko bhi takleef hoti hai right because he says ki jo jo tumko chahiye jitna humko chahiye utna wo humko deta hai na usse zyada na usse kam so whatever we have we should be thankful and again he says uh, it's not uh, in the upanishads in the ramayana also it's it's written it's there it's a proof those who believe in these books those who believe in this these stories those who believe that lord ram existed aur unke sath ye hua tha to unko padho un un unhone kitna dukh chela ye dekhiye and he says ki jab lakshman apne ram aur sita ke sath ja rahe the vanvas ke liye tab unki maa ne unko kya bola ki ye jo jis jangal mein tum ja rahe ho usko ayodhya samajhna राम को अपना अपने पिता दशरथ की जगह देना और सीता को अपनी माँ की जगह देना एंड वंस इफ यू थिंक दैट दिस इज अयोध्या दिस इज राम दिस इज माई फादर एंड दिस इज माई मदर एवरी थिंग विल बी एब्सोल्युटली ओके फॉर यू सो देर आर टाइम्स वेन सिचुएशन आर डिफिकल्ट फॉर एस देर आर टाइम्स वेन थिंग्स डो नॉट गो द वे वी वॉन्ट टू बट behind everything that happens with you there is something good in the future that we cannot see now but that we realize it later on right then uh, just to sum up the lecture he also says that there are so many thrilling stories in our classics in our books in our holy books in our epics और जब तक हम इनको खुद पढ़ेंगे नहीं समझेंगे नहीं तब तक हमको समझ में नहीं आएगा द ग्रेटेस्ट बुक द गीता इफ यू रीड द गीता यू विल फाइंड सो मैनी थिंग्स ब्यूटिफुल थिंग्स इन दैट व्हिच विल गिव यू अ वे ऑफ डीलिंग विद द डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशंस इन योर लाइफ राइट देन अगेन द ऑथर सेज ऑफकोर्स ही इज कोटेड Uh, somebody else uh, and uh, as far as my knowledge goes it was said by alexander the great that give us good women we will have a great civilization give us good mothers and we will have a great nation see the level of respect a woman has got that good women give you a great civilization good women yani ki जहाँ पे औरत की इज्जत होती है जहाँ पे औरत सिक्योर फील करती है जहाँ पे औरत पढ़ी लिखी होती है तभी वो एक बड़ा सिविलाइजेशन uh, वहाँ पे हो सकता है वहाँ पे एग्जिस्ट कर सकता है और अगर आपके घरों में जो मदर्स हैं अगर इफ दे आर रिस्पेक्टेड इफ दे आर एजुकेटेड if they feel secure if they are happy then you will have a wonderful nation which will flourish which will progress which will develop and if in a country where women are not respected the way they should be there will be no development there will be no progress there will be nothing as compared to the other nations right so women are people or women are creatures or sorry for using that word but women are are um, sadly they are subjected to disrespect they are subjected as uh, people who cannot do something or people who cannot handle uh, pressure but these are the ones who are actually holding the families they are the ones who are actually taking care of us they are the ones because whom we exist in the world okay so today i will teach you till here next time we will end the chapter that is on saturday so till then my request to you again is while you see the lecture 
and you open the book and read the chapter as well okay i know most of you don't do it but if you will do it uh, i cannot see you so don't cheat yourself you are not cheating me because i can't see you but don't cheat yourself so on this note take care bye bye have a nice day